I'm just going to take you for a lap of Portimao. It was quite early in the morning, soon after sunrise, just making sure the car was okay before running got underway. Coming up over the brow onto the start finish, a fairly long straight here. Before we get to the first corner, we're going to punch downhill, change down a couple of gears. So we're going to brake now, down two gears, turn in, get on the power on the crest of the first corner, over the kerb on the exit, flat out over the jump through turn two down to second gear through this right hander making sure we don't run too wide on the exit because we've got a left hander coming soon afterwards third gear over the brow a bit of wheel spin up to fourth gear then we're going down to the hairpin it's a very bumpy braking zone so the ABS is really doing its job here braking down to second making sure we get a good turn in and a good line out because it's uphill up to third gear fourth gear through this left hand kink making sure we stay to the left because we've got a fourth gear right hander coming up no gears to change down, through here, on the exit we're braking again, down to third gear, using the uphill of this corner to help us out, up over the crest, over the brow, and then a flat out left hander, making sure we don't run too wide on the exit because we've got a right hander coming up, it's a blind braking zone which makes it extremely tricky, get on the power at the apex, over the exit curve but not too much so we can get back to the right, so we can go through this left hand kink, on the exit there we're braking again, down to second gear, get the apex on the inside and let the car run to the exit curb. Bring the car back across to the left because the right hander is soon afterwards. Clip the apex quite early on and then let the car run to the middle of the track, out to the exit curb, up to fifth gear for this final corner. The strength of the wind hitting the front of the car was actually less than the previous day, which meant there was less downforce and therefore less turning, which forced me slightly offline and affected my straight line speed all the way up the straight to the end of the lap.